All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to associate this motion capture data to your human IK rig for your character. So I'm going to stop it, and we have it in our motion capture data in the scene. We're going to go up to the file, and we're going to import our rig. So we'll go to File, Import, and then I'm going to pick the rig that's been, you know, gone through the human IK um, system and uh, then skinned or bounded to the geometry and weight maps have been approved and all figured out so pick it import it into the scene there it is and all we got to do here is come up to the top here of the viewport and then hit this little icon right here looks like a square with a little eye or um kind of slanted that's a picture of a joint and that's the x-ray joint so as you can see there's a human IK system in there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to the human IK box again make sure it's turned on by this little icon up here at the top that looks like a little doll and we're gonna go to character and we're gonna pick the actual rig name so that's the Teo Skelly rig click on that and then we're gonna go to source underneath that and then we're going to pick whatever we had named that animation uh, that we did before, which was have the, the mocap data. So this has all that mocap data that we associated uh, from the last video to the human IK. So pick that and dance, and then it automatically moves that over. And then you can hit play just to double check it. Looks like it's working just fine on that transfer we're going to hit stop here and then what's happening now is that we have to actually go through here and physically transfer right now it's just a temporary um, protocol to transfer the animation from one IK system to the other so we want to actually bake this down so what we're going to do is go to the blue box here in the human IK system and we're going to go to bake and we're going to bake it to the skeleton so we're doing the transfer my actually has to go through the whole thing to actually transfer it so sometimes it goes fast sometimes it goes slow and then from there <clears throat> we also go back to the blue box and go to bake and now we transfer it to the control rig so if we do this that allows us to do counter animation with animation layers if we need to make corrections to our animation click on that and then there's the human IK system in it once that animation has been transferred to that rig we can get rid of our reference so right here in the outliner so again if you don't see the outliner it's right here on the side click on reference and just delete it and it's done and now you've got your animation transferred over, which is really cool. And now if you want to do any corrections on this, you can come over to the channel box and layer editor on the side here. And we'll just move this up a little bit higher. And I'm going to move this over a little bit. And if you're under display, there is a tab called Atom. And these are your animation layers and where you can do uh, corrections to your animation so for some reason you want your character head to be a little higher or lower during the performance what you're gonna do is make sure you go back to frame one of your animation and pick an associated joint so I'm just gonna pick on the head here and once that head selected come over to the animation layer and you can see there's base animation. This is where all the animation is on all the joints, is on this layer. And you can see if I, when I click on anything on here, you can see all the frames of the mocap data on it. And this is what we call animations on ones. And that's just how mocap uh, works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that joint. And I'm going to go to this little icon right here. It says create layer from selected. Click on that. And since I'm going to do a head correction, I want to always rename it. Click on it and then call it what it's going to correct. 
So head correction. Make sure it's always one word. Uh, Maya doesn't like spaces when it comes to display layers and animation layers. So I hit enter. And then on frame one, I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to reassociate that head a little higher. And then I'm going to press the S key, or you can come up to the top and go to animation and go to key and press set keys. You can see this is the S key. And once you do that, now, that animation for the head is a little higher, as you can see right here. So that's how you can set the animation and make corrections to it. So you can see it's a lot higher. Something I didn't really need to do for this performance, but just wanted to show it. And I can actually turn that off. So I can hit this little icon right here called Mute. You can see that change that I am doing to this animation with this an with this uh, animation layer. And it's great. So if you feel like your arms are, are not moving correctly or they're passing through the body, you can use this to self-correct that. And it's a really easy way of doing that. Once you've gotten several corrections if you need them again you don't have to do them if your performance is great i would uh, you know stick to about you know if you're doing about five different corrections to merge that animation down to the base animation layer to do that all you need to do is hold the shift key select all the animation layers you want to combine together right click and then say merge layers and again this might take you know a minute or two to calculate so we'll just wait for it well, that roughly took about 20 seconds to do and now that correction has been applied now, and now again it's not something I would do for this particular performance there's not too much to, to change here but again just so you know the process of doing a correction and baking it down all right now we're going to be in the next video going over how to export this out into marmoset tool bag